Hello, Ladoom here. This is the third time I've tried recording this. First time I spent about 40 minutes and then... One sec, drinking hot chocolate. First time I uh, got like 40 minutes in and realised the recording, well, wasn't on. Yeah, apparently I'm completely colourblind, I can't tell, you know, red from white, yeah, from yellow, because I use fraps, and there's a little counter in the corner. And second time, the audio, my, my entire voice was static. So, third time's a charm, I guess. Yay. Um, oh, looky here, our friend, this is a greater mole rat, mole rat I believe, and it, it doesn't like me a lot, so I'm gonna blow its brains out. Die. Ow. No, you're not supposed to hit me. I'm your killer. The killer is supposed to... Bloody hell. It's like this thing has is better than the other enemies. Uh, Jesus Christ, what is this thing made of? Yes, the scars will look lovely underneath all of your armor. Yes, killed it. And that's got the attention of everything. And I'm also dead if I don't use Stimpax. We love wasting all of those on rats. Now this is what you get Ladoom for randomly generating a character in a game where you're allowed to make your character however you want. If this was a pen and paper role playing game where you're in, where in a lot of them you do randomly generate a character, then we wouldn't be having this problem but this is a video game and you Actually, create a character, and I'm rambling it myself. That's technically what ever, that's technically what a let's play is, just rambling. At least for me. Die. Now we're good. Jesus Christ, stop noticing me. I just want to get into this room with lockers. Also, looking over, I don't think we're going to be able to find a water chip from here. Move away, he's gonna run to me and attack me in my face. Hit me for four hit points because these things are stupid and I've got terrible endurance. Take that. In the locker, you get two grenades and a bomb. In here, you get a submachine gun and some more ammo. Yay. Inventory. Replace this with this because this is so superior. It's not even funny. Now, come my children, come to my knife. Over here is a weapon I want more. Over there is a crowbar. And you can bludgeon your enemies to death of it. Run away, run away, run away. In this hit combat I get more than one turn. Run away! Attack me in my face with my legs for three and five. I need to use another bloody stim pack because I'm stupid. Yep. Ah, uh, there we go. Well, that was the quickest non combat I've ever had. Attack. Attack and it's dead. Well, it's almost like my characters are learning how to use this thing. Knife. 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 I was supposed to run at that point. Uh, but I get two, don't I? Jesus Christ, it's the only thing you can do is miss. You know, ignoring all these dead things there because I didn't miss, but if you like doing that, I mean, it's in front of you. It shouldn't be hard to hit something when it's directly in front of you. Inventory. Ah, crowbar. Old friend. Well, it would be old friend if my buddy, all of my things weren't terrible. More rats. We have to clear this area of them. Make this place entirely rat free so nobody can live here. 
Now, bludgeon it. How are you alive? Darn it. Gonna attack me. Yep. Bludgeon it again. Bludgeon it again. There we go. This weapon is well more powerful than the other one. And here yeah, is a giant small rat or a pig rat that is in front of you. You should be able to hit it. Thank you. As you can see, bludgeoning it, it works better than just, you know, walking up to it. Let's sneak up behind this don't have enough action points, so I'll just waste time. And slowly Oh, but that's not there we go. Boom. Take that, rat. Face my almighty power. Now, if I sneak up here, then here, that might initiate combat. I'll be able to sneak up to his rat and bludgeon it. <laughs> I am the ultimate form of power as I kill these rats. And it hurt me for one hit point. Pathetic. Face my almighty crowbar. I would use a gun, but I need the ammo. For when I fight people who aren't rats. Come here, rat. Ah, hot chocolate. The greatest drink. Ah, you couldn't hit me. But I can hit you in your face with a crowbar. Now that's gonna walk up to me. It's gonna try and bite my legs. It has bit my legs. And I'm so poor at living that a bite of the legs could kill me. Our hero, friends. They decided to send the weakest human being as the map control. I, I'm thinking of games where I don't use the... Uh, that's for walk. If I'm gonna walk up here. Well, oh, it noticed me. No, you can't notice me. This is what you get for noticing me. Technically living. Although you're gonna have a bit of brain damage. Sort of hit it with a crowbar. Although there's no need to worry about that because you are no longer among the living rats. You are one of the dead ones. Oh. No, 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 initiate combat. I'm not taking damage to rats again. Never again until I meet them outside. No, that's literally I'm going to walk outside and find an entire armada of rats ready to attack. And we'll just swarm and cover my body. Oh, now I'm just terrifying myself. Let's see if I sneak up to its rats. Initiate combat. Bludgeon it to death! Bludgeon it to death! Yes! Nope. Any more enemies? Don't think there are. I think I killed them all. No, there are. There's a few rats and one pig rat. Blair. Ah. Sneak. Here. Combat. Nope, it knows me. Hoping to sneak up to him and take them all out, but no. It's just this one. That's what you get. You don't walk up to someone holding a crowbar. Especially if they look like they don't like rats that much because they've been the only bloody thing to fight and they've killed him. Why was I killed by rats? Why did I have to create such a poor character? Why am I so stupid? I'm gonna go on this for the entire let's play until I inevitably get to a point where I can't proceed because I'm so bad. I just thought it would have been a smarter move to go in here and use a stim pack because against rats, that stim packs are quite rare. At least at this point, and you're supposed to use them when you really need to. Like when you're facing something that isn't rats, because they're like the first enemy in the game. 
Now I'm being killed by them. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna really need power armor. Or something good. Learn to aim! It's a rat, it's in front of you, it's quite big. I mean, if I saw a rat this size, bigger than my leg, I'd pretty much just wail on it. You're acting surprisingly- thank you! You're acting surprisingly calm for someone who's being attacked by a million of these things. Please, just die! You're kidding me. Oh, they're gonna kill me now. I oh, can tell they're going to. Yep, no. No. <laughs> oh, dear God. Please, please. I'm. This is my. I'm. No, I, I know what stim packs are. I have used them a lot. There. I can't believe I'm using so many stim packs. I, why am I still trying to. I could just run away, but I'm not giving up. These rats have tried to kill me so much, I'm getting my revenge. Ha! Take that! Or not. Uh. Finally! Oh, now you can hit them after I use the stim pack. And yeah, how far away is that? It's quite far away. Enough for me to get a decent distance on. Run up to it. Wail on it for your life's worth, my friend. There you go. Oh no. No. Well. Finally. It's dead. They're all dead. Did I get the experience for going up here? I think I did. If I didn't, this should get me it. Yep. Well, what we're looking digital to his region. That's nice to know. Climb up the rope. Well, considering there's nothing here, I'm gonna go up to Junk Town, which is our next destination. I shall meet quite a nice character. I like him a lot. But we will get to that when we get to that. Climb, my friend. Oh, there's the remains of the scorpion. Nothing but blood and two bits of it. Apparently decomposing is quite quicker than this in this in real life. Go to Junk Town. It's all the way down here. And there is a radio encampment. We'll be going to there later on. Right now there's nothing we need there and all that will happen is we'll probably be murdered. Quite horribly. Because I have like an insurance of two. In fact, it's free. Yes, yeah, free. Oh, look, a random. This is a random encounter. I don't think I've actually had one yet. Oh! This is not good. Um, there's no real way to run, but run without being attacked by a million things. No, between a fierce battle, you're supposed to be battling them, not me. I'm not needed in this battle. You can just continue without me. Please. Please. I like living. Please don't kill me. I enjoy this. Oh uh, dear god. No, 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 no. This is, the, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be running away from them. Blah. Da, da, da. Quickly. Yeah, you can make it. Yes. I have made it. I am alive. And here we are. This is Junk Town. Another over here, we're going to, is it morning? Yes, it's morning. Uh, okay, bye. Yeah, I've got, you're not allowed to have weapons out in Junk Down. Not allowed. Pretty understandable. <laughs> now, we are going to go up here. I believe it's on the next screen, that's jail. Yeah, this is Junk Town. It's, well, the second city in this game. This hospital there, we'll be using that, but I think I'm at full health. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm one hit point behind. Uh, four endurance. It's not fair. It's bad. Anyway. Ah. 
Don't worry, I won't be irritating you with the sound of me drinking. Ah, uh, here. This is Dark Quarters. Well, the general store. Now, I think this is Killian Darkwater. Quite a nice fellow. Can I sort help of, you? And because he has a thing, he's obviously important. Let's see what he. Let's see if he actually knows about it. Shady Sands. Shady Sands. That's a little place up to the north. I'd like to do more trading with them. Would be understandable, but unfortunately, the people there don't even know they live there. Um. I want to well, buy that's something. A damn now, what do you have to buy? Do you have caps? No, because I will probably never use these pis this pistol or this one. Yeah, I because I got the uh, well the submachine gun. I don't that's equipped on me. Um, nor these. I won't be using these before anymore because I've got my crowbar of awesomeness. So, how much is a single sim pack? 126. I'll get two stim packs. But no, three. Yeah, three. And I'll buy. Let's see, I'll get. 21 caps. 400. So, uh, 9229. Yep, that sounded fair. Oh, that sounds fair. No, this is a book. This is Scout Hammer. I'll probably never use that. Well, I probably should, but. Can't be bothered. Done. Now, what could happen? Yep, here, this is a terrible assassin. He walks into a place with two guards who are armed. So he gives a. Guards. Then proceeds to shoot me. And see, he just shoots over my shoulder. This person apparently can't shoot over his shoulder, so because of this, I'm gonna blow his brains out. Or apparently not reload. Now, because he decided to attack someone with three, uh, three guards, all of them wearing better armor, he's going to die. Just because he made the poorest mistake ever in the history of mistake making. Probably worse than me than regenerating character. I just killed, I just shot one of his men. That was not intentional. And I am going to be attacked, but uh, there's nothing on him. End combat. Oh. I did not mean to- no, 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 my last save was ages ago. No, please don't, please don't do this. I didn't mean to shoot him. Oh, they're going to kill me now, aren't they? Run, 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 run. Please don't kill me. I didn't mean to do this. Oh. Um. Oh no, they're going to kill me. Please, I did not mean to do this. It is not my fault. I did that was no, no, please don't kill me. They're gonna kill me, aren't they? Yeah, it's gonna, she's gonna shoot me in my head. Please, I did not want I don't want to I don't want it to end like this. I did not mean for this to happen. Samantha I saved your life! You get Please now. Please now. Please now no, I'm dead. Yep. And I'm dead. Well, that happened. Welcome to the death screen. I'm a bit pretty sure you've already seen that. Yeah, second video. Well, did I? Oh, yes. Um, I'll start from here, which is from the earlier. The one where I forgot to record. Yeah, this is here where I. Yeah, I've already done this. Okay. This is base. This is basically the same. I think I'm. Yeah, virtually the same place. Have I killed the giant mama? Yep. Inventory now. Uh, this one I forgot to do that. So here, let's see if my bludgeoning abilities have get better with a new save. In fact, no, no, no. What I'm gonna do is I am going to pause the recording here. We'll stop it now, and then next time, then I'll well see you when I get back to the play. Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout One. This is the bajillionth time I've tried to play to play this bit. Um, here, oh uh, no, I where's jump down? Where's jump down? Like an accident. None. Big blood. There's. Thank you. Okay. Um. Where we left off, we were going up to dark waters again to ensure I didn't die horribly, because I shot their mare. Well, I didn't shoot their mare. I shot one of his guards by accident. 
Keep, keep that in mind. Accident. I was doing it while saving them air. Because, you know, obviously if I shoot one of their guards while killing the assassin, I'm obviously the most evil human being on the face of this planet. Alright, back to Dark Waters. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's going a bit better. Not as weird. Not that bit like that. Weird. Anyway, talk. Can I help you? Want to buy some things? Well, that's a damn fine coincidence. Yes, it is. Uh, what? So, pistol. So, two knives, because I have my crowbar of bludgeoning. And so, my other pistol. Uh, yes, yes, stim packs. All three of those I'd like. 379, so that I would need 21. That's 400. Two, four, eight, six hundred and forty-eight, and offer. Yes, that is a good trade. Thank you for allowing it. Talk. Just some more eyes at me. Anyway, here's the assassin again. Yep, gives no sense as regards. Good for him. Gonna kill him, Yeah, you shot killing him for 20 hit points. You now got shot in your face. Face machine gun. Then face my fist in your face. Oh. That was easy. I thought that'd be harder. But anyway. Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You don't need proof. You interested like he's going to punch him in his face. Apparently, that kills people. Um, yeah, I'm in. You have to wear a recorder and tape Gizmo confessing. Or plant this wiretap in his office. Either way. And we got him. Yes, we do. All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. And good luck. Okay. You seem happier now. Well, you should have seen happier last time. I did try and save your life, but no, apparently saving lives, but accidentally hitting a fellow comrade is obviously makes you the worst human being alive. As I said before. Sneak, I will increase. So we prepare. No no when you prepare. Double digits. Uh Lockpicking will increase by five. And first aid by two. Yep. Yeah, it's quick over dust. I was gonna try using the arrow keys, but it's not as fast. Yep. So we'll go up here and talk to Gizmo. Run, my men. Run. Run, Vladoon. To your destiny. There he is. Here's our Mad Max like friend. I'm going to be keeping this uh, jacket because you can use it to get dog meat a bit later on. Don't actually remember where dog meat is, but I know you can use it to get to him. Or get him. Here's Gizmo and his uh, protector, Izo. You see, disgusting excuse for a man. This must be Gizmo. Yep, it must be. Let's go and kill him. What do you want? I'm a busy man. I'm here to talk about the attempt on Killian's life. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, let's take a hypothetical situation. Such as? Well, let's say you did try to kill Killian, and your assassin failed. That means you'll need Neil to do the job, right? And let me guess, you're that someone? <laughs> I could kill him quicker than you could spit. Well, how can I trust you? Because I've been around. I've killed before. <laughs> All right. We can do this. But you work for me. Oh, you better know that nobody ever double-crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. You got me. <laughs> got it. What you want him dead for? <laughs> That's easy. 
I want him dead because he cramps my business. So, what are you doing for me? Can I mention you're disgusting? Um, sure, it's a job. Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck as proof. And we never had this conversation. You don't mention this to anyone. No one double crosses me. No one. Oh, wait, why would you need the dog tags for proof? You'd hear us having a firefight, like, not that far away. You know, I'm just not gonna ask. Um, yeah. Uh, this is the part where you could either. Oh, what's that? Oh, wait, I just mentioned this to the doors. You could either go and uh, kill Killian. Or you could tell him that you got the proof. I'm gonna go tell him you got the proof because I want a good ending. Well, good ending for Junk Town because in every sort of town settlement at the end, it, depending on how you well worked with it, it can get a good. Uh, well, the endings vary. So, did you get the evidence? <laughs> I sure did. Which bug or tape? A confession. Let's hear it. <laughs> which is neither bug nor the tape, but yeah. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. Yeah, because you get anything from uh, doing that job, I'm going to take a suit of leather armor. Or stim packs. Stim packs seem nice. Ooh, wicked ho. I'm going to have to roll for this, in fact. Yeah, I'm going to roll for this. Here we go. One is. Uh, one two is a suit of leather armor. Three four is stim packs. One, I'm taking a suit of leather armor. Well, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm gonna take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Might be good for a laugh. Sure, it'd be worth it just to see him try and walk more than ten feet. Go to Lars at the guard station. He'll fill you in. And listen. This town owes you a lot. Done. Yep, so I'm gonna go to Lars, who is uh, down this, down on the next screen. And I will go and kill Gizmo, because he's obviously evil. I mean, I don't even know him. All I know is that he tried to kill someone who I've met for about three minutes. Well, I met him in a past life, but then he tried to blow my brains out. In which he did. Or at least one of his guards did. Yep, you bet. Let's nail that tub. I forgot to change armors. Again. Dude, you don't know how many times I've had to be I've played this bit and forgot to change my armors. Well. Reload. First. Walk forward a few steps. Yep. And this should kill him. And it did. That was easy. How did you have trouble taking this guy down? I mean, not really. I mean, he's. Oh, well, I guess so is sort of the whole. Not gonna really kill an innocent man, but he wasn't the most innocent of people. He. Well, he's in a post apocalyptic land, he has, and he has a really nice looking desk. He had to do something to get that really good looking desk. I mean, now the desk is covered in blood, so it's not as nice as it was before, but, you know. You could have just killed him with the sole purpose that he has a good desk. And it has his name on it, as you can see from the, uh, really... Well, the textured thing that you can't actually see when it. You know what, just ignore my ramblings. Uh, come on, Matt. And this, uh, yes, thanks. Thank you for your help. Here's 500 caps. You're always welcome in junk town, friend. Yep. Well, I'm going to leave Junk Town now. And go to the hub. Uh, let's see. Change out my armor. Put my crowbar in item 2. Yep, now going down here to the hub. Which is like, the hub is well, the trading center of the wasteland. The hub trading co. Now, wait for it to load. Yep, here are all the people. All of them, most of them look identical to you. 
kind of feed my cat about all of you. But yeah. There's quite a few people here. Uh, pretty sure there's a bunch of side quests and stuff, but in fact, I'm gonna actually have a good explore. So I don't know, because mostly I just try and rush through a game, but no, I'm gonna have a look around, and talk to people. Oh yeah, crowbar. People don't like me holding. Yeah, change the weapon to a machine gun is not gonna help you, mate. Change back to the fists. Move along. Keep your nose clean while we're in the city. No, I'm gonna keep my nose as dirty as I like. Huh. If you're not going to start a conversation with me, then well, I guess I must go. Who's this person? An officer. Follow the main road if you're looking for the market. Okay. Yeah, there's quite a few officers here because, well, considering all the valuable stuff, there needs to be at least some form of protection. Hmm. Just wait. There we go. Anyway. Down here is Crimson Caravan. You can get, you can like, uh, go and explore. In fact, no, I know what I'm going to do. Talk to her, you could find out, find a few places. Uh, uh, damn, he looks. Uh, hey there, how are you doing? My name's Dimitri, Dimitri Vermeer. Heard of the best damn caravan in the waste. Are you looking for a job? Damn, you look strong. What is it to you? That's just what we're looking for. You look like a, you, you like the thrill, the excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere, whipping by your head, blowing your enemies in two, seeing, seeing the fear in their eyes. Ah, that's the life. You look like the kind of person that could serve us well, and we pay well. Oh yes, we do. We just had a few new uh, openings, so if you're interested, but of course you are, right? What's to pay? You pay six hundred bucks a job. That's each way. Hell, people say. Uh, we take all the dangerous routes, but uh, but I say you're the most exciting. You need a little excitement in your life, am I right? <laughs> of course I am. Hell, <laughs> I think that's just what I was looking for. Damn straight it is. Just go talk to Kurt, Carrie in the next room. She'll let you know where the next caravan will be leaving. Yep. So, to be honest, in uh, so, <laughs> so that old bastard gave you the okay to work for us, eh? Well, you must have balls of steel. I'm impressed, but we'll see how you do. We'll leave, twi we'll leave only twice a month, on the 3rd and 17th. Can you handle that? We get all the local hot spots, the bowl of steel junk down, necropolis, and the boneyard. And the pay? Our pay is best. Mm, d -d 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 yeah, blah. Uh, no. Actually, I'm no coward. I just don't want to do this, because I can get money other ways. And my character cannot survive. He may have, like, a strength of 10, but he cannot live for more than 10 seconds if bullets are flying anywhere. And I just I just did that to get some more locations. I'm gonna... Okay. I'd like to buy something. That's just a general store. What do you have on you? Uh, right away, which uh, gets rid of radiation. Radio, combat knife. Super Stimpax. Uh, Psycho, which increases damage. A bunch of books. Probably all overly expensive. Let's see how... How much does the first day like? 273. Uh, I can't say isn't, that isn't unreasonable. But a bat. Oh, how much is a bat? One foul. No. How much is a single uh, stim pack? 100. 1,000. I could get a, I could get a bag with that gun. No. Yeah. Nah. I'm gonna. I'm going to go to the uh, weapon stealers. Got some more location. Ah, there. I believe this this area is actually in Fallout 2, although it's a special location. Uh, oh, it's just gambling. I'm not. I'm no good at gambling. So, <laughs> what did you have? I didn't really so see why it's any of your business. No, <laughs> let's head out back. Just see if I can be neighbourly, like. Uh, Lenny turns away. He is obviously a druggie. Owen. Hello, Owen. What do you need? If anything. <laughs> oh boy, can you leave me alone? I've had enough problems on my hands with problems. Maybe I can help you. 
Hmm, I don't know. It takes a different caliber of living in. Listen, why don't you come back when you have a little more experience under your belt? Okay. So, go and level up a bit more, is what it's saying. Which translates to me, go and grind. Go out and grind for 7 million hours. Because, according to me, that's like the only way you can level up is by consistently grinding. Very good trick. Yeah, these are all like for trading people. Um, gonna go here, and this is where the uh, better weapons dealer is. Well, he sells better weapons. Don't know if they are actually you know, better in prices, but uh, it is over here. Yeah, it's these people here. Yeah, there are water merchants down on well, down on the lower top, lower map, but there. But unfortunately, I think if you uh, send water to the uh, vault, it can uh, be detrimental to them because of the second timer that comes in later, which I will not talk about yet. Hi, welcome to Jake's. I've got some great merchandise in stock. Feel free to look around. Okay, let's barter then. Oh, a combat shotgun. No! Everything is expensive. Uh, let's see, what do you have? Combat armor. Jesus Christ. 19 grand. I don't have 19 grand. How much is a regular assault rifle? 3,000. If this is 1,000. And 2,000. 2,400. bomb and some grenades not even enough nope I'm getting rid of all of this yeah it's just seeing if I could but no nah. what else do you have ah you have a hunting rifle that should do three thousand oh no that was the assault rifle how much is the hunting rifle uh three thousand five not that much of a difference, but sure, I'll put down... Well, if I'm getting rid of that, maybe I should get rid of the ammo. So how much would that come up to? 2,000. Okay. Let's see. If I put the explosives and the grenades. 2,800. How much, if that costs over a thousand for you, I could probably get some ammo. Yes, 50 shots. And how much would one set of shotgun shells be? 4,300. Still, I have money left to spare. Um, and let's say, what's put the. Uh, Two nine two and then forty. Yep, that seems fair. Got myself some ammo and a gun. Yay. Now that I've done that, I've got myself some more weapon dairy. More ammo. And a uh, rifle. And, well, I won't be, I'll probably won't use it to a little bit. Well, probably will, but, uh, you know what I mean. I, in here are some enemies. I am not good enough to fight them yet. Because just now I've got to play this extremely cautiously because I'm, you know, screwed. This is Howard. I'm going to talk to Howard. Spare change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> How about five caps? Oh, kind of your friend. Very kind. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. You're welcome. Oh. Oh, hey, it's you again. Anything uh, I can do for you? What's your story? 
the whole thing? Well, now, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> Phew, long time. Tell me more about these days. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. What did you do? What did you do then? Well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Lost a lot of good people though. <coughs> How? Uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog! If they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission, <coughs> had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Then, that's just a bit obvious, of course. Helped them. Where were the mutants coming from? Everywhere. Hell, seemed like you couldn't fart without hitting one. But mostly in the northwest. Do you explore that area? You farted northwest, um... We mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray. Led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray? Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. And what was that? Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. How do you know the base was the cause? Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. Did you examine the base closely? We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. And then? One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Send him back to the surface. Then, it was just me and Gray. What about to Mark? To this day, I don't know. He never made it back here, and... Well, I... Couldn't face the wasteland again, so I... I never looked. What about you and Gray? We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. What? A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. How do you survive? Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> God, I love that joke. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. How did you reach Hayes? All I know is it was something inside that base. Sorry, tough break. Thanks for the story. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. Cool. Well... That's that. Uh, I, well, see you next time, I guess. See ya.